This is going to be a general tutorial for Mac users for the use of the free code editor called Atom. Before I actually go into Atom, I already downloaded it, I already installed it, it's really easy to find, you just Google Atom as um, Atom text editor or code editor. The installation is pretty uh, straightforward. Actually, let me do that, just show you where, you, where it is. Atom code editor, it's the very first thing it finds. Here it is, download for Mac OS. You don't need me to tell you how to download and install, but I've already installed it. I'm quitting Chrome for some. Um, before I actually launch it, I actually put it on my, um, on my dock. If not, of course I can find it after I install it in my applications. And here it is, and I just dragged it and put it on my dock. Um, or I can find it here. Here it is, you know, on the search, just A for Atom, found it right away. What I'm trying to say is before I actually launch it, here's something really important for Mac users, or let's say for aspiring professionals who are using Mac. And that is, and I repeated it in other tutorials, I'll never get tired of repeating it, is before you even launch anything, go to the Finder Preferences. This is the Finder, Finder Preferences. And under the category Advanced, make sure that it shows all file name extensions. So when we open, for instance, um, any folder, any file, I can see .pkg, .zip, and so on. I can see all the file extensions. Very important, and that way I will know what uh, file types I'm saving and then I'm saving it with the, and seeing with the right extensions. Okay, now that, we, that we've prepped that, I'm launching Atom. And this is a typical, it's not always going to launch exactly into the same window. I Actually, it launched twice. I can close two of those. This is a typical window in Atom. And actually, all I need out of all those tabs is the one that says Untitled. Um, because all the others are like a welcome that I can clean, a welcome guide I don't need to see. Even that project, you know what, let's leave that project uh, uh, pane on the left for a, 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 a second. I can click to kind of hide it, or I can show it. I can even show it. If I just start typing code like bracket and H, I can see that it's not giving me any hints and I'll have to type everything myself. The key here is before you type any code is to save file, save as, and if I save the file, let me actually browse, you know, to my Broward College, to my web authoring, uh, Spring 2021, and let me create a new folder, which I will call um, Atom underscore demo underscore vid. No spaces, of course, in web naming. Uh, create, and I will call this file, let's call it typical um, files in HTML. The first file in the site is always called index in lowercase. And with the extension .html. Now, because I gave it the extension .html, Atom is now going to know that it's an HTML. And as soon as I open a bracket, you see how it starts giving me Hints. And as soon as I type H, it'll show me that, you know, it could do HTML. And as soon as I, uh, it'll suggest HTML. I can choose it from the menu or just keep typing. And as soon as I do that, it actually helps me and creates a whole structure. Actually, I got one extra open um, bracket here. Uh, but this is already saving me some work by typing the general uh, structure of HTML before, you know, I did anything. Uh, just to see, you know, as we will learn, be between body and end body is everything that's in the browser window. Let me just type a paragraph, a P. Well, we'll go, hello, world. And close the paragraph. And um, 
right here between title and end title, I'm just going to call it demo vid. In the content, I can definitely use spaces. Content is, you know, just language. It's English. Uh, hello world. And, you know, the content is not case sensitive. The tags are. If I save this, at this point, I want to see, you see how it already started what's called a project for me. But even if I ignore that, even if I don't look at that, it's just at the code. You go, how do I see what this looks like to the user as a web browser or even to me as a developer? What I'm going to do is go to the finder, go to the folder. That's why you got to remember where you saved it. I saved it in my folder called Web Authoring, Spring 2021, Atom Demo Vid. I just created it a second ago. Open, and here's the file. Now, if I double click on it, it's going to open in whatever's my default browser. To me, it's Firefox. Double click, and here it is. It says Hello World, and it has the title Demo Vid. Again, where do those come from? Here's the title Demo Vid. The title is like the tab title. It's used for a lot more things than that, as we will learn. And the only thing between body and end body is hello world. Here it is defined like a paragraph. Responsible uh, web developers always check on more than one browser. So I'm going to this file, right clicking on it, open with, and here are all my other browsers, such as Google Chrome and Opera and so on. I believe that nowadays it's enough to test on Firefox and Google Chrome. Those cover already 99 per, together, 99% of our users. And if it's compatible with both of those, it's compatible pretty much with all other browsers. So I'm opening this file also with Google Chrome to show me that it looks the same. Now, from this point on, it's just a process of going to my Atom and saying, well, maybe I don't want to call it Hello World, but Hello World, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. How are you? As I want to see this in the browser, I will save, of course, because if it didn't save, it never happened. And I just saved, updated my changes. I'm going to my browser, in this case, Chrome, and refreshing. And here are the changes. So from this point on, it's all about Atom, change, add, modify the code, save. Go back to your browser, refresh. You don't need to reopen the file. I mean, if you do, it'll just open another tab or another window, like open with. And see, it just opened another one. I can still use the same tab, only every time I change the code on it, I will refresh, refresh and see my changes. For instance, before we're done with this video, if I go to Atom and say, oh, I wanted hello world, how are you? Not to be a paragraph, but to be a, what's called a heading level one, which of course means, see how it shows me a red error? Because it opened as a heading level one, but it's, cl it's closing as a paragraph. So it's got to close as a heading level one. And I, again, file, save. Um, if I go back to my browser, now it's interpreting as a heading level one, as a big heading. By the way, sometimes you refresh and it still looks like you haven't done anything. Um, what we could do is also something called force refresh, which forces the browser to forget all about its temporary memory and reload the file from scratch. And, by, and we do that by holding shift while refreshing. This is called force refreshing. If I go back to Atom and actually open that little drawer that shows what's called the project, here's the uh, folder I saved into, and I can save more files into it, uh, such as the CSS or the, um, or the JavaScript, and by double-clicking, I can open each one of them. Also, if I ever forget, if I open Atom and I go, oh, uh, where's that folder? I forgot where I actually put it on my computer. I can always right-click on a file or a folder reveal in finder sometimes it says it can't but it actually can it just opened the finder window and shows me where it is right click open with and i can open it with any of my browsers